What connects French architect Paul Gourdet with the historical center of Almaty? Why is the Jarkent Mosque the single surviving work of Chinese architect Han Pike? Where is Valikhanov's manor house city Mbiet located? Forgotten names and little known facts, recent history and national color, all this is in the Grand Buildings program. Today in our program, Soviet era structures. How they built government building of the Kazakh SSR. Friendship House, a story was written here. School Children's Palace, a masterpiece of Victor Kim. Almaty is one of the most contrasting cities in Kazakhstan. Here, squat wooden huts neighbor on minimalist skyscrapers and the buildings of Stalinist empire style shine against the background of high-tech giants. Although an interesting part of the metropolis is gradually acquiring modern outlines, the buildings of the Soviet period still constitute a significant part of its construction and form a unique image of the former capital of the Kazakh SSR. However, in 1927, the city was categorically not ready to transfer the capital from Kislorda to Almaty. In those years, there were no suitable premises here, even for the most important Soviet organizations, such as the Central Committee of the CPSU and the main political administration. It was necessary within the shortest possible time to deploy active construction, often characterized by prompt actions and an ingenious creative approach. All union competition was announced and Moscow and St. Petersburg architects, leading architects of the country, participated in it as a rule. This is very important for understanding that during the construction of the late 20s and 30s in the city, generally avant-garde projects of Moscovites and Petersburgers were implemented. We were always inclined to the combination of avant-garde and classics, or simply to classic architecture. The main project of those years was construction of government institutions complex. It was entrusted to the famous constructivist Moisey Ginsberg. The first government house built by him in which the Academy of Arts named after Zhurgenov is placed today entered the list of 100 masterpieces of the Soviet architectural avant-garde. However, party leaders did not work in the building for long. In the mid-30s, classical architecture became fashionable. The city center, including the government building, was decided to be reconstructed. There were several such sketches and plans. There were spires of all kinds with domes, which were criticized too. One of the examples of what government house could be is the preserved building of Kaz Potrebo Soyuz, which is not far from the intersection of Panfilov and Tolibi streets. At that time, there were already own design workshops in Almaty. Their employees actively competed with their Moscow colleagues in the battle for the right to build such a landmark building. Some of them succeeded in the struggle. Almaty architects made a very interesting project of the future government house. It was on equal terms with the projects of Moscovites and Leningraders. Therefore, when it was decided to define the project, it was decided to unite the project of Rubanenko and Simonov. They were from St. Petersburg and the project of a local organization. And this project, combining the features of two different projects, was adopted. And before the war, they managed to lay the foundation of this building on that square, which we now call the Old Square, habitually, or the Square of Astana. The first approved version of the government house was a four-story building with 29 meters high, facing Komsomolskaya Street. Its facade was accented by a portico of 10 columns crowned with a frieze and a coat of arms of the Kazakh SSR. A little later, massive towers with bas reliefs were added to the plan. Work on project implementation went slowly, and by 1941, only the foundation pit was ready. After the war, construction was resumed, but with amendments to the political situation that reigned in the Union after Stalin's death. Namely, in accordance with the resolution of 1955 on elimination of excesses in design and construction. 
там должен был быть купол на стыке корпусов, должен был быть купол, где вот так то вы. There should have been a dome at the junction of buildings over the assembly hall. It was removed. A dome with a colonnade along the perimeter. Moreover, inside the assembly hall, they imitated the ark. However, it was like decor because the dome was not there already. It was the same way with the Academy of Sciences. There should have also been a dome, such a dome additional structure at the junction of the holes. And they did the same with the assembly hall. Купол, такая надстройка, купольная часть на стыке корпусов. И тоже так же сделали с этим актовым залом. Construction decor was simplified as much as possible by cleaning all interior surfaces from ornaments and other artistic details. Nevertheless, it was necessary to keep the building splendor, and for this purpose, they managed by means of building a monumental marble staircase leading to the round assembly hall. Almost half a century later, almost nothing has changed here. The general composition of the room, rich lighting and unique furniture survived intact. Only multi-tiered presidium and the portrait of Lenin, which was once located above it, have fell into oblivion. Here, May Day demonstrations took place, demonstrations by November 7th, that is the anniversary of the October Revolution. Since the 57th year, the Central Committee of the Communist Party was here. Supreme Council sat here. And the most important laws, decisions and party congresses were held in this building. It was the ideological center of our republic. Few people know, but in 1972, the building was substantially completed. The length of the side building was doubled since the original areas could no longer accommodate all the necessary departments and committees. However, the extension was made so delicately that today it is simply impossible to see where the old building ends and a new one begins. After the collapse of the USSR, Akimat of Almaty region was located here, and later the structure was given to the needs of the Kazakh British Technical University. However, political career of the former government house did not end there. In 1997, we held the first in Kazakhstan political disco for young people here. 3,000 young people were standing before this building. We homed paper pigeons, and there were calls for patriotism, and these so-called airplanes. We drew large posters on sheets, and young people who came to the square wrote on them a confession of love for Kazakhstan. Of course, the building is gradually changing, it is becoming more modern and utilitarian. But the spirit of Soviet times is still in the air, it is reflected in the glossy surface of the old window latch and in twisted lattice of radiators hiding batteries. It can be felt by looking into the former office of the first secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party of the Kazakh SSR, Dinmukhamyad Kunayev. Today, lectures are held here and only the country's map and the globe in portrait of the well-known Kazakhstan politician reminds of the past. When I enter this building, when I work here, first of all, I have a thought whom I am walking along this hall. I have a feeling that people who worked here before are next to me. When I sit down on these armchairs, I always think who was sitting on them before. What thoughts did this person have and what kind of figure he was? First, this is a monument of our history. It is not just a chandelier for me. This is a chandelier that has seen such a person caught a certain landmark in the history of Kazakhstan. Therefore, this building is very precious for me and precious from the point of view of the history of Kazakhstan. In the 60s to 70s of the last century, modern architecture prevailed in Kazakhstani architecture. Classical buildings similar to the government house were no longer built. They were replaced by massive forms, urban appearance of structures, old and fancy compositional solutions. Until recent reconstruction, the main monument of the Soviet modernism in Almaty was Republic Palace. Today, this title passed to the Frenchman House. It was built in 1972 upon the project of the architect Rustem Sidailin. The construction was carried out by a large architectural group previously working on erecting Republic Palace. If we take a closer look, we can notice much affinity between original plans of these two buildings. In particular, the similarities are guessed in the roof form. 
Many people say that this is an imitation of the Japanese, the architect Kenzo Tange. But it is not true. I was talking with the authors and they told me how they went to Mang Shilak and Ripinski with this group and when they examined these complexes of gravestones there. Then this idea of this roof was formed completely. The building is a two-story rectangular volume consisting of three pavilions. The layout of each of them is related to the hall's function. Therefore, the administration is placed at the bulk standing and end facing the street. On the first floor of the main building, there is a spacious hall and two rooms for negotiations. The great weight of the second floor is occupied by pink, blue and famous round hall. Of course, when it comes to the National Republic, there is always the idea of using local traditions. Well, of course, you will not build a yurt of stone in concrete. Therefore, we decided to make the meeting room not traditional as it happens. We decided to make it round, but the type of the yurt's volume. But at the same time, it turned out that it is very convenient. That is the layout. Initially, in the interior's details of the Friendship House, there were far more Kazakh motifs than now. In golden plaques, references to Yurt's Kitty Gia were guests. The walls were decorated with such national ornaments as Koshkar, Muyiz, Tandai, Juldi, Jean, and many others. These patterns can still be seen on the ceiling of the round hall and the main hall, but these golden plaques were not preserved. But at the same time, one more pride of the Friendship House remained there. It is a cascading chandelier made of Czech crystal. In 1972, it was manufactured by special order approved by the Almaty Architectural Bureau. The test of time, the chandelier was stood with honor. For many years of service, it never required a major reconstruction, although it managed to see a lot in its lifetime. It was here in this building the Declaration of the Formation of the Commonwealth of Independent States was signed. It was done on December 21st, 1991. Then in newspapers, including the Kazakhstanskaya Pravda newspaper, the material about this was published already on December 24th, 1991. In those years, the Friendship House was called a little differently, namely the building of the Kazakh Society of Friendship and cultural ties with foreign countries. And there is nothing surprising in the fact that it was in these walls that the fateful meetings and negotiations took place. Often the heads of the common states met in the blue and pink halls, which impressed the imagination with their splendor. The decoration of these elegant pink and blue halls is not a local tradition, but actually an Uzbek one. It is made using the principle of ganch, but ganch is a carved alabaster. Since the Middle Ages in Uzbekistan, these alabaster grids were located on a colored background, and the background shone through, and it turned out very elegant, like lace. Of course, such a magnificent and even pompous decoration of the interior does not fit into the modernism canons. However, people who are far from architectural norms, as a rule, like it. And how to resist the rich carpet of flexible branches and lush flowers so similar to the real ones. Running on mirrors, walls and ceiling patterns can be considered for hours, marveling at the skill of their creators. After Kazakhstan gained independence, this building practically did not change its original functions. Here, as before, important political events are being discussed for the country. Memorandums of cooperation are being signed here, but now in the context of the activities of the Assembly of the People of Kazakhstan. This historic building was adapted for whose needs. My daughter and I were in this building when the meeting of Jarasim Republican Youth Organization was held. My daughter and I presented here, we were sitting in the press room. And my daughter says, Mom, how cool it would be if you worked here. And just two years later, we are moving to Almaty. And I was accepted for employment here as the chief expert. 
I've been working here for the third year already. For Raushan Ismailova, as well as for many other employees of the House of Friendship, this building is not only historical, but also spiritual value. That is why it treats all changes concerning its appearance and interior with special trepidation and attention. In particular, she oversees the next local reconstruction, which is now being conducted in one of the premises on the first floor. В советское время здесь располагался кинозал. На всю стену был установлен экран, был пологий пол, стояли знаменитые советские. In the Soviet era, there was a cinema hall here. The screen was installed on the whole wall. The floor was flat. The famous red Soviet chairs were standing in the hall. However, of course, in connection with the dictates of the times, reconstruction was carried out. The screen was removed and the floor was leveled. The Presidium was established. In this hall, there were official meetings, international scientific practical conferences. Today, we are forging ahead and reconstructing our press room. We will install the LED screen, the podium on which the chairs will be located. The main architectural background of this hall will remain, of course. It's easy to guess that after modernism, postmodernism came to Soviet Kazakhstan, and Almaty School Children's Palace became the largest building reflecting the stylistic ideas of this architectural direction. They began to work on the project in the late 70s. The same building was built in 1983. The project was developed by a group of architects and engineers from the Almaty Gi Progor Institute, under the leadership of Vladimir Kim. For consideration of higher instances, several variants of the palace were presented, having significant differences in the styles of the façade, the location of the central entrance, and the observatory, the shape of the dome, and other details. Дворец школьников – это здание, которое в себе соединило очень… School Children's Palace is a building that united a lot in itself. If we look at the plan, we'll see a very complex structure. That is, several buildings, there are many of them. But they all combine in a symbolic structure that resembles the galaxy twist, with the center where the main building is located. Summer amphitheater, racetrack for karting, swimming pool for ship modeling trials, shooting range and archery areas. All this could become a part of architectural ensemble of the school children's palace and the adjacent territory. Nevertheless, the implementation of ambitious plans were hampered by the cost of the project. They could not allocate such funds from the Republican budget. In the end, we decided on a more modest but no less interesting plan. But to tell the truth, only the lazy did not scold Vladimir Kim for it. The round golden dome did not suit the taste of local art lovers. However, modern architects, on the contrary, see a successful unification of Soviet postmodernism with national elements in this decision. Moreover, even the silhouette of the eastern minaret can be seen in the tower of the observatory rising a little further. This smaller dome is an observatory. This tower is 40 meters high. The problem of setting up a telescope is very interesting in this dome. After all, according to the laws, the telescope should be installed on a freestanding platform, on a separate foundation in order to do less corrections in the study of celestial bodies. It was impossible to implement this idea with this project, and then telescopes of lower power were installed. Nevertheless, they allowed our children to make an opening while observing Halley's Comet, which were listed in the catalog of astronomical discoveries. In its architectural appearance, School Children's Palace successfully blended into a number of buildings earlier constructed on the same avenue. However, according to the architect Tolikien Abilda, the authors of the project had no idea to create a single ensemble of structures. The resemblance was primarily due to the scarcity of building materials choice. It was also the reason for very extravagant decisions regarding interior decoration and the palace decor. For example, here chandeliers are made of such trivial material as brass and copper tubes for heat exchangers. I went to this hydromash. 
I went to Gidromash. They had already done the final drawings. They put ordinary ammunition and screwed in the light bulbs. The chandelier was seven tons in weight, but it is a chic chandelier. If you look in the interior, then this is really a very good work of art. Construction of school children's palace could not be called easy. Due to unusual design of most of the rooms, standard design schemes had to be recalculated and redrawn several times. Of course, they failed to avoid mistakes. When the stucco was made, I remember it was not in proportion. Once I came, but the workers have already done it. I was looking at this horror. It worked out so rudely. In general, I broke three times. It is good that workers realized that we still needed to remake it. And here it was very interesting in searches in the details. The result of painstaking work was a floral panel occupying the whole wall leading to the concert hall. During the overhaul, which took place three years ago, it was updated and painted in a more cheerful tone. We are in the big concert hall of the school children's palace. This hall also has its own characteristics. Firstly, it is designed in the form of an amphitheater, so that every child of every age can see everything that happens on the stage. Pay attention also to our magnificent chandeliers. Someone says that they are made in high-tech style, but this is still Soviet postmodernism. In order to withstand the completely internal style of decoration of our school children's palace, At the time of construction completion, the drama hall, by its technical equipment, outstripped the theater named after Lermatov. The only problem was that theatrical arrangements were designed for direct premises, while the local theater was asymmetric because of the palace's shape. There was nothing but to come up with alternative methods of installing equipment in action. I was working on curtain net ceilings in the auditorium. It was crooked all over. The auditorium fitted into the arc. Now it is good. Computer immediately determines the size. Moreover, I had to calculate a length through the tangent, contangent in a notebook to fall into dimensions. We worked out curtain net ceilings of stamped black metal, painting with automated paint and firing. The curtain nets and details were all handmade there. By the opening of the school children's palace in 1972, Din Muhammad Kunaev instructed each region of Kazakhstan to make and present their own vase for this room. All of them are preserved in their original form and still decorate the interior. After 20 years, it was here that the first presidential Christmas tree was held, which Nur Sultan Nazarbayev opened with his wife and daughters. Of course, after major repairs, there are small changes in this room, but they are insignificant. For example, these rails. Previously, it was an ordinary living varnished tree. Now we had to cover them with paint too, so that the view was more aesthetic. Molding was transformed a little. Before it was distinguished by a flat surface and now it has such an uneven texture that somehow volume had appeared. This is another room located on the floor below. It is distinguished by a set stone floor of striking beauty made of various minerals and semi-precious stones. The most important thing in this building is that despite the change of times and political courses, it still fulfills its main function. It serves children. Today, more than five and a half thousand Almaty children are engaged here, for whom School Children's Palace has become truly a second home. Here you come, everything is so colorful here, and everything is done with a soul. It cannot be said that you just come to the usual building, where there are different project teams. Here you feel like at home. School Children's Palace is the palace of dreams, the palace of happiness and joy, namely childish joy, childish laughter, a child's smile. And I think it's very cool.
The architecture of Soviet Kazakhstan is diverse and contradictory, multifaceted and unusual. Moreover, although the debate about its value is still being conducted, no doubt it is an integral part of identity and history of the Republic.